intermediate dumbbell circuit number two. For this circuit, we're going to start off with a dumbbell push, single dumbbell push-up. We're going to go into a reverse fly, into a moving lateral lunge, and we're going to finish off by doing a single dumbbell snatch. Now, each one of these exercises is going to be timed, and each one is going to last for one minute. So we're going to start off with a push-up. What you're going to do is we're going to have them come down. One hand will be on the dumbbell, so it'll be elevated. The other hand is flat on the floor. And we're going to have you raise one leg. This part's optional, but it's going to add a little bit of extra to the exercise if you do it. So you're going to start with, he's starting with his right hand on the dumbbell, right foot is up in the air. And we're going to do a count. So he's going to start down. And he's going to come up for five seconds. Then he's going to hold for five, and then he's going to come back down for five. So I'll go ahead and count. Start at the bottom. Up in one, two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Now he's going to switch hands, move it over, and we're going right into it. Same leg is still up. Up in one, two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, nine, 10, down 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. Now he's going to switch hands and he's going to switch feet. Up in one, two, three, four, five, hold six, seven, eight, nine, 10, down 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, good. Switch hands last time. Up in one, two, three, four, Five, hold six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. From here, you can get up. We're going to go right into a reverse fly. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go for 20 seconds, as many as we can, 10 second rest, 20 seconds, as many as we can, 10 second rest. So it's still going to last for one minute. Ready? And go. So notice his feet are both pointed forward in athletic stance, knees are bent, back is flat and slightly bent. He's really contracting his shoulder blades in the back, squeezing them together. And that's 20, rest, get 10 seconds, shake it out. Three, two, one, and you're back on. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And now you have 10 seconds. While your 10 seconds are going, you want to go ahead and grab a dumbbell. We're going to go into moving lateral lunges. As soon as he's ready, and you're on. All right, so what he's doing here is he's stepping laterally, making sure to keep both toes pointed straight ahead the whole time anyway. The dumbbell is in his, is in his far arm, and it's moving toward the foot that's reaching away. So he's reaching down toward that toe, making sure to get a big stretch. He's going to turn around. He's going to stay on the same foot for, 40, for 30 seconds. And then he's going to switch. And switch. We'll go the other foot and the other hand. So now his right foot is moving away, and he's holding the dumbbell in his left hand and reaching toward that right foot. And time. All right, and now the last one that we're going to do, we're going to do a single dumbbell snatch. We're going to go for 30 seconds in each arm. This is a good explosive exercise, and it's a really good one for getting your heart rate up. All right, you're going to do 30 seconds in each arm, and go. So what he's doing, he's in a really good athletic stance, feet about shoulder width apart. He's going to bend down, bring that, drop that weight down, and he's going to explode up and throw that weight up over his head, drop down into a squat and catch it. 
Good. Make sure to keep those toes forward and that back straight the whole time. And switch hands. Fifteen seconds left. Two, one, time. Good job.